equality, uh, same pay, body image issues, trying to make humanity and society better. But we don't get it right every time, first time, because we don't know what we're doing. Uh, and Maya's come under fire for something. They've got a new ad uh, for their underwear range. And I'll oh, probably took about a minute before everyone went, Maya, you know, see what you've done there? And I've got the photos for you. See if you can work out what's wrong with the picture. I don't know. What is it? So are all the men buff? Yes. They shouldn't be buff? All uh. the men are completely, but the women are different. They've done a uh, body diversity campaign. They've just forgotten to do the men. They, I think they've... I, Diverse in nationalities, which is wonderful. But see, this is the issue I have, and I, I've mentioned this to my wife and a few of her friends before, because that is the image of the men underneath there is the sort of general consensus for what men look like in society. And I don't know about you, Maddie. You guys don't look like that underneath? Exactly. I've never had a six-pack in my life. And can I tell you that I, looking at these guys, the unattainableness of that image is, is startling. Because I know... With the 10 weeks training I did for the boxing and the upkeep I'm doing uh, at the moment where I'm training twice a day, I'm looking the best I've ever looked in my life and I'm still nowhere near that and what I would need to do to get to that would require a part-time job uh, to give me more time to hit the gym. And it's something that we don't talk about very often because all the women up top, great. It's great for women's body. It's great for their body issues. But I think we do have to start thinking about the men as well. I think they all look great. I don't really... Yeah. Honest question, you don't see an issue with the men underneath? The problem is with a lot of these men campaigns is that Bonds model is the face of Bonds model. But even that is an issue, isn't it? Yeah. Then? If you're saying all these guys are the face of these campaigns and they're all buff and have six Yes, I agree. So stuff. there needs to be a man that will put his hand up and say, I'm small and I want to be for Calvin Klein. I wonder if they have research, though, that shows that men don't care as much. They don't, but there are certain people that still have body issues. And I would say that it's it's a different percentage, but that's mm. only because we are bombarded with the, the images and females are more likely to have eating disorders. Does exist, though. Mm. And they're saying that a lot of men's issues are to do with um, steroid use and, and steroid bulking. And, and it's still a different gym. percentage, but it's still there. Mm. Do you know? And you say openly that you've had an issue with it, yep. which is why you'd be so offended by it. I'm not offended. I just think it's if you're going to change one, you should change both. Yeah. And now it's the time for one. me and Maddie to put our hands up yeah. as male models. <laughs> <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt on B105.